Welcome back, Thrani. I'm Joe B. Say goodbye to groin and inner thigh pain with my foolproof technique of myofascial cupping the adductor longus, brevis, and magnus muscles. Let's dive in. You have three types of cupping. Dynamic cupping, where you use silicone cups. You have static cupping, where you use plastic cups. And you have fire cupping, where you use glass cups. For today's session, we will be using silicone cups, in which case we will be providing dynamic cupping. You have different sizes for the cups, 2.9 inches in diameter, 2.4 inches in diameter, and 1.8 inches in diameter. To attach the cups to the skin, lay the cup onto the desired position, then use your thumbs to press down and provide suction. Before treating, wash your hands and make sure that you included the myofascial cupping intervention in your physical therapy plan of care to be signed by the referring doctor. Also, determine any presence of grapeseed or fractionated coconut oil allergy or silicone allergy as this will not allow you to perform the treatment. The patient will be in left side lying with the right lower extremity to be uppermost and over a wedge foam to better access the lowermost treated adductors. The therapist will be behind the patient Use the medial femoral condyle and then to the proximal linea aspera as bony landmarks and palpate that first. Then apply a grape seed or fractionated coconut oil superior to it until there is noticeable glistening of the skin. Then use a medium-sized silicone cup of 2.4 inches in diameter and place it just above the medial femoral condyle. From there, you can use a diagonal pattern from the medial femoral condyle and go as high as your patient allows at the groin area. You can also start there and end at the medial femoral condyle. Progress to a vertical pattern. Then finally to a pull and lift where you use two cups instead of one, which are placed at the midpoint of the medial thigh. All these cupping techniques are done for five reps. Adductor tendinopathy or strain can be caused by repetitive rapid acceleration or deceleration, repetitive turning of your hips, repetitive kicking, opening of the legs, and quick side-to-side -side motions. This can lead to inner thigh or groin dull aching, sometimes cramping pain with tightness. There can also be swelling and warmth at the inner knee. In addition to these symptoms presented, the assessment to determine adductor strain or tendinopathy will be the presence of allodynia or a painful response to a non-painful pressure stimulus. First palpate the medial femoral condyle and go superiorly up to the inferior pubic ramus. Any significant tenderness as compared to the opposite side muscle should confirm it. Your adductor group are comprised of your adductor longus, brevis, magnus. Your adductor longus originates from the inferior pubic crest and body it inserts at the medial third of the linea aspera of the femur. It is innervated by the L2 to L4 obturator nerve and functions as a flexor, adductor, and external rotator, as well as contributes to pelvic stability. The adductor brevis has the same origin, action, and innervation, except it inserts at the medial lip of the linea aspera of the femur. The adductor magnus has an adductor head that originates at the inferior pubic ramus, while the ischiocondylar head starts at the ischial tuberosity. The adductor head inserts at the linea aspera, while the ischiocondylar head inserts at the adductor tubercle of the femur. The adductor head does flexion, adduction, and external rotation, while the other head extends and internally rotates the hip. The adductor head is innervated by the obturator nerve, while the ischiocondylar head is innervated by the sciatic nerve. So do you want to know how to provide myofascial cupping towards your outer leg compartment muscles like the fibularis longus and brevis? If so, then this video is for you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.